Well, um, I'm reading here. Let me tell, let me tell y'all something right quick. These things right here, man. I, 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 I one day walked up on these in Dollar General store. It was, it was the only pack, and I was like, that was kicks. I was like, ain't no, ain't no white powder on them. So, uh, I got them. Man, I fell in love with them. Can't find them nowhere but Amazon. And they hide your rap pussy. <laughs> like, up there, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? But I went to Alabama, went to the Dollar Tree, and saw them at the Dollar Tree. I bought all they had. <laughs> Do what they look like. Look, shoes. And the thing about them is, they, uh, they sour, but they don't have that white powder on them. So the whole thing is sour, not just the powder. Man, I can I'm have to find some more. I ain't getting them off Amazon though. Cause on Amazon is uh I forgot the size of the pack. It ain't no big, big pack, but it's like eight or nine dollars. Okay. Willfully unvaccinated should pay a hundred percent of the virus hospital bills, lawmaker says. If you get that virus. People who choose to remain unvaccinated and subsequently, subsequently become severely ill with the virus should be responsible for paying the entirety of the hospital bills out their own pocket, according to Illinois Representative Jonathan Carroll. I agree. Really, nigga? I mean... I agree. They just say that there. Cause But I don't think they'll do it. I had to skip over the reason, y'all. I had to. But I don't think they'll do it. Because um they have condoms and birth control out there. You choose not to use it, get somebody pregnant, or you get pregnant, they pay for it, give you welfare assistance. You know what I'm saying? So, the bill will likely face considerable particle, yeah, 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 they'll still you face something. But Carol is not bothered by this, telling the Chicago Sun Times that the proposed legislation is just a starting point. To hold people who choose to go unvaccinated responsible for their decision. He added that the legislation represents frustration felt by those who are following the science and trying to do the right thing toward people choosing not to get vaccinated, who are able to, for whatever reason they choose. I think it's time that we say, you choose not to get vaccinated, then you're going to assume the risk if you do catch it. And you get sick. The responsibility is on you. True story, boss. True, true, true. He pointed a nationwide data showing that unvaccinated people account for the vast majority people hospitalized with the virus. Hospitalization in the U.S. are still quite high with around 6,000 people hospitalized daily. Many states are seeing health care systems overwhelmed causing medical Medical providers to ration care and delay non-urgent services, including screens and elective surgeries. Yeah, people like me who need some done to the tickle. I got to get put on the back burner. Meanwhile, hospitals care for the virus patients. It's costing the U.S. billions of dollars. An analysis in September by the Peterson Center on Healthcare and Kaiser Family Foundation found the preventable virus hospitalizations among unvaccinated adults cost over $5 billion 
just between June and August. The average cost for the virus hospital stay is estimated to be around $20,000. Man, man, man. That's because that stuff is over high anyway. Everything there is over highly rated, you know. If, if you go, I'm going to tell you this here. Go to the hospital, take yourself <laughs> a care package with some aspirin, some uh, ibuprofen, and some acetaminophen. And uh, just a little odds and ends because they going to give you that same medicine and they're going to charge the hell out of you. <laughs> so go ahead and take your own care package. They say, well, this here is the good kind. No, it's just a high dosage. If any of y'all don't understand how this works, when the doctor give you naproxen sodium, naproxen sodium, that is the scientific name for a leave. I may not be wrong at saying scientific, but that's the scientific name for a leave, y'all. And it's like one pill is, I think, like six or 800 milligrams. I got one in the past. Made my stomach hurt. I'm talking about it was like pain. Like, ah, oh, made you just lay down pain. But in that case, you could probably just take four leaves. You know what I'm saying? So, I believe that they should charge the person that come down who hasn't been vaccinated. Even if I was one of the ones lacking in it. You know, if I was delinquent and not getting it, which I was for a while, I was holding out, but I came with it is what it is, you know. So, I think they should have charged me too if I went. You'd be like, but I'm paying for that health care with my insurance. Yes, you are. But you're not paying for a risk that they think. The key word here, they. A risk that they think could have been avoided. Because you could have took this and not ended up there and then the insurance wouldn't have to pay for this. So, if big insurance get in it, they might do it, you know, but I don't see it happening. But don't let me unscare you into not getting it because you're thinking, oh, he just said they ain't gonna do it. I believe, I agree with him. Uh uh. That just that's just something I come up with in my head, which ain't got nothing to do with nothing real. Just I came up with that my idea. So do what you gotta do.